what's up guys it's me again i'm here with another video and today i'm going to be showing my fishing stuff i'm a beginner and i don't really know the names of this stuff so i, and I have some of my grandpa's stuff over here all right so first thing i'm going to start out with is i have these old things i don't i don't know what they are but yeah this this was all his stuff and I just recently got some stuff for Christmas. Um, I got some hooks and that type of stuff. And then this, like, I don't know. This holds some stuff. It's kind of cool. There's some cool lures in here. Like this one. And I have a couple of other ones. I'm not going to be going through like every lure one by one. And like little ones. But other ones I might. So. I got this tackle bag for my birthday. It was a while ago. It's a pretty nice tackle bag. And yeah. And um. It came with these two things. I haven't completely got it filled up yet. But I'm going to be showing you what's in them so far. So, when I go fishing, I usually go at West, West, West Lake or Lost Grove Lake. And I and some people usually leave, like, some um, lures behind. So, I'll pick them up and put them in my tackle box. And a couple of these, I don't know what they are. They're pretty strange looking. And, yeah, so, I have this one. It looks like a octopus or an alien. I have a couple of these. Yeah, I have a couple of these. And then I have a little crayfish, crawfish, crawdad, whatever you want to call it. And then I have this duck. Um, I got this for my birthday. I was able to pick out a couple of lures. Or no, I didn't get this one for my birthday though. Um, uh, I have this. I believe this was my grandpa's. Um, I have this. I've got some big bites on it, but like I've I've seen stuff in the water come close to it, and I felt stuff nibble on it, but then it would just go away. So that's what these are. Um, yeah, they, they actually stink. Yeah. My grandma had to put them on. It was very funny. And then I got some little ripple shads. Yeah, got those. And then I have this. I believe my grandpa made this or... I can't remember if I found it or my grandpa made it. This is one that my grandpa made. Um, I haven't tried it before. I don't know if it's going to work. My grandpa was like, he was a really good fisherman. He would go to like Canada and places like that. Him and my grandma went, them, went there one time. Or I don't know, more than one. I have this one. Yeah. And like I said, I am a beginner, and I've only gone fishing a couple of times. Yeah, I got these more. Um, I have another one. It's different. It's a little bit different colors. Um, I believe I found this one. Yep. I've I believe. A jig. I have a jig. And I know the names of some of them, but not all of them. I got this frog for my birthday. It's a pretty nice popper. Yeah, I've got a couple of bites on it. I have another jig. That I had a. What, what what's on here? Is just a smaller one, and it didn't have that on it, so. Yeah, 
And I got this popper for my birthday. Or no, not my birthday. It was before. Yeah. It's a nice little. It like the legs move so it goes. Yeah. It's a nice little frog. I have some of these. They're all tangled up together. I keep them in the same place because they're basically all the same. Um, and I am going to be buying some more lures. I'll probably make a video about that. Um, but here comes springtime. I'm going to be, hopefully I have enough money saved up that I can buy this GoPro that I want. And I'll be making videos, baseball videos too, because I play baseball. Yeah. And this is my last one until we go to my next box. Box and I am going to be opening some stuff because I have a couple of things I got for Christmas. Yeah. Here's my lucky fishing hat. It's nothing real big. Yep. It's my fishing hat. I do recommend getting this tackle box. It is very nice. Um, let's see. I can't remember the name of these, but I had one that was really good. But then, sadly, it got pulled up. And we had to cut it. I go fishing with my buddy Jerry during the spring and summertime. A couple of times during the fall. We had a really nice time. We, we would always have fish-offs. You know, I, I don't know how, but I would always win. One time we went fishing, and we were doing the fish-off. It, it was our first time hanging out together. And we went, and I beat him six to one. Yeah, I caught five largemouth bass. And one really big crappie. It was really cool. Got some of these. Got this one. Let's start doing it like this. And then, I'm in my grandma's basement right now. We're going out to eat in a little bit. That's why I was making this video because I've wanted to do this for a while. I planned on doing it after Christmas, and now that's after Christmas, I can do it. Um, this video, if you're watching this right now, it was uploaded on the day that I recorded it. Um, I was fishing one time. And I just found this little weight. I don't know. I'll put it... I'll try to get a weight box. Um, I have one of these. We, we sometimes go fishing... Where is it, Grandma? Lost Grove. No, no. That one place, isn't it the Wapsie? Is it the Wapsie? Yeah. Oh, yeah. We go fish. We go fishing on the Mississippis every once in a while, and I lost, like, my favorite and best lure there. I was really sad that day. But I got mad, and then I went to go catch some frogs, and I felt better. Jeez. Oh, Always getting tangled up. I'll, I'll just show them like this. Um, I have this one. I have a little one too. You guys, you guys already saw that one. A nice one of these. And I do like watch fishing people. You'd probably think 
that I would know the names of lures by now. But I don't, so I, I subscribe to like Flair, John B, Paul Cafero, um, Catch 'em All Fishing. Um, oh, yeah, that's done for this tackle box. People like that. Oops, forgot to hook. But yeah, I really like those guys, they're really cool. I wish I could meet them someday. Someday. I have clippers, toenail clippers for, um, for, like, cutting line and stuff. I found this bobber by this one creek by my grandma's house one time. Um, I got this for Christmas. A night bobby. A night bobby. It's a night bobber that glows up. It, like, um, it like flashes if you go night fishing like that. I got some, I don't even know what these are. But there was this one lady at Field and Stream. That's where we go to get my fishing supplies. We don't go to, um, can't remember what it's called, but it's not a so we can't go there. And this one lady gave me it for free. Also, there's those one thing you saw I can't remember I got this little lantern for Christmas it like it it lights up really bright it's um it can go under water and go through fire um and yeah like that here's the thing for it just in case if you want to get one Buddy Jerry got me these um, blue, blue and black tail lizards. I'll take one out. Show you what they look like. They're by Zoom. I really like Zoom. They're a good company. They make some nice lures. And yeah. Um, I don't know. My phone has been acting kind of weird lately. So I don't know if this video cuts off, but if it does, there will be a second part to this, trust me. Um, I got some more, hey, it's like the same one, that's crazy. Um, I got some bass casting, um, sinkers, I need to get a cast net, that's not what I save up, might save up for. <sighs> yeah. Um. I got some pliers. We actually got these for free because I found them. And they're pretty good for cutting the line. You know. Weedless um, hooks. I haven't used them before. All this stuff is new and I haven't used it. I have some no sag slip sinkers. I bet those are going to work pretty well for me. Um, I have some more weedless hooks by Eagle Claw. And then I have my grandma got me this. I have some little um split shot split shot sinkers. Those are probably going to be pretty nice. I got a Z-Man original chatterbait. Yeah. I have this minnow spin by... I don't know. Yeah. We're getting close to an end here. Bass cacks, casting sinkers again. Ooh, Eagle Claw's a nice company. I bet. Um, barrel, barrel swivel. I don't know what these are. I think of. Oh, I know what these are. Yeah. Okay. Ugh. 
some more eagle claw plain shank hooks Another Z-Man Chatterbait. This one, this one's a little bit smaller than my other one. Or no, I think they're like the same size. No, this one's smaller. Um, this one is one fourth of an ounce, and this one is three eighths of an ounce. I don't know actually. I think the one fourth is heavier. Um. Some more weedless hooks, eagle claw. Dang, eagle claw makes good hooks. Um, eagle claw laser sharp rotating hooks. Then last but not least, some oh these this is dead fish. Just a warning for anyone who doesn't like to see this stuff. So here you go. Uncle Uncle jo Josh Shiner Minnows. Yep. Alright. That's all. And I will make another video when I go to Dick's or Field and Stream or go fishing. Alright, if you if you made it all the way to the end of the video. Make sure that you subscribe, like, and comment if you liked. Let me know your favorite lore down in the comment section below. Deuces.